made an autonomous foosball table. So basically, we have a capacitive sensing grid here and a stepper motor. And our little foosball is able to be tracked, and the goalie will react accordingly. Um, so we have a, a little LCD screen here and a directional pad. And with this LCD, you've got a menu system. And you've got a couple different options. One you can turn on, we've got these stadium lights, which is kind of cool. Let's turn those on. That way you can play in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have a couple other settings on here. You can set handicaps for each team. You can set the max score for the game. Um, and then one of the cooler things is you can set the goal sounds. It's the volume. Yeah, so when you're, when you're going to score a goal, <clears throat> you can pick from between one and five themes. Um, each theme is composed of three songs, and it will be randomly selected. We have photoresistors in the goal that are connected. There's a laser beam that shines across and controls the photoresistors. Okay, um, up front we have a bipolar stepper motor controlled by a capacitive grid here. Um, the grid's made up of four subgrids. Uh, controlled by PIC-16 F707s, where, which are pretty purpose-built for um, capacitive sensing. They have 30 capacitive channels each. The ball rolls across the, our polycarbonate, polycarbonate surface, the underside of which we have copper pads. And uh, when the ball is introduced to that area, one of the pads, it will uh, change capacitance and change charging time of the capacitance circuit. And then I'll trigger a position. That position is relayed to the stepper controller by uh, I I2C, so we have five picks talking to each other at any given time. When you first turn it on, it's going to have a position sensor, it's going to automatically center itself. You can see it's going to bounce it around, um, trying to get in front of that uh, particular pad to block the shot. If the ball comes in, we have the grids are offset so that each sensor has a ball traps across it. The goalie then steps in front of where the ball is based off of the sensor. And then the idea being that it just keeps going, it keeps real time just detecting right where the ball is to eventually block the shot.